Thanks very much. It's a, an honor to be here today. And uh, first, I just want to say briefly a special thanks to Tim Southam. I've had a few conversations with him, and uh, he's given me great background on the Guild and what's going on uh, presently and in the near future. And I also want to thank uh, Dave Forgette, who has told me a little bit about all of the district councils across the country. So uh, let me start by saying uh, I know some of the people here, but most of you uh, don't know me, I think. And uh, the people who will be watching this probably don't know me. But uh, I'll take one minute and um, let you know a little bit, bit about my background. Um, the first film I ever made was called uh, Beethoven Lives Upstairs, and uh, it won the Primetime Emmy, so I was off to a good start. And um, from then on, I got a very large contract to make uh, 18 more HBO original films. And another reason why you may not know me is I spent over a decade in Europe, so I made 18 international co-productions, which were 80% um, um, Canadian, 20% other. So I'd say that I'm a director first, a creator of original content second, and producer third. Of the 18 films, uh, they were sold into 110 countries, and they sold almost 4 million DVDs. So I was quite proud of that, and we had 12 uh, Emmy nominations and 22 Canadian Screen Award nominations. So that aside, um, what really happened in the end was um, we had a, 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 a glorious time taking that company um, public. So in the end, as a director, I was running a, a NASDAQ-based public company and also listed on the TSX. So with that in mind, um, for the last four years, or up until a year ago, I should say, I switched gears and um, went into a digital interactive, the digital interactive business and got a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and built a rather large uh, educational website aimed at uh, um, kids in K to 12. And so let me start by saying I'd like to dream a little and uh, see if we couldn't enhance the guild by uh, making it more powerful, growing it uh, at a faster rate, and going into uh, uh, a digital arm. So I think there is the possibility that we could um, bring in digital interactive coders, um, artistic designers, gaming experts. And you know, the way I look at it, I say, why not? Um, when we ran the educational website, we had uh, 110, 107 to be exact, uh, creative uh, coders and web designers. They're all paid very well. And uh, I don't see why the DGC would not consider expansion into that area. Uh, secondly, um, I've always believed and still believe that um, both men and women, um, racially diverse uh, uh, people, should all be inclusive. And when I say inclusive uh, in the Guild, I, I do mean production assistants through to accountants, through to first assistant directors and the rest, directors, all one large family, uh, all inclusive. I thought that the Safe Workplace Initiative, that it's ongoing, was uh, quite brilliant. And uh, having read most of it, uh, I backed that entirely and would, would at the table, uh, be more than interested in deploying that and seeing it run wisely and well. Um, so the thing that I hope I could bring creatively is my knowledge of co-productions, having done 18 of them, which I think is the most official co-productions done. 
Uh, we made films in Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Italy, Ireland, and we even did a two film co-production between Quebec and Ontario, which is something I, I uh, would like to uh, inform uh, the Guild of. So to, uh, to conclude briefly, um, I would say that uh, I'd be all for expanding the Guild, growing it uh, deeper and farther, and uh, I really thank you for your time.